All right, shalom, shalom. First off and foremost, as always, I want to say, call call la Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakhakwadash. The honors being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And a shalom to Sinister Anki out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakhakwadash. Okay, so I wanted to do a quick lesson touching on the topic of the end days, okay? And it's, you know, it's clearly, you know, the uh, the Lord is, uh, you know, showing us that we are, you know, you know, coming upon, you know, the, uh, the complete downfall of Babylon, you know? And as you can see, you know, it's, it's, it's clear as day that we are living, you know, in the, uh, the last days. Of, the, of uh, you know Esau's rulership, you know, and um, you know just just as Yahweh Shai told his disciples, you know, in the book of Matthew twenty four, you know, we are seeing these things, you know, come to pass, you know, or starting to ramp up, you know, before they're all fully manifest. Okay, so without further ado, you know, Lord's word of this lesson edifying to the Lord's sheep, and uh, I'm gonna start off with Matthew twenty four. Okay. And uh, verse <clears throat> verse three, and it says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him saying, uh, excuse me, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be? OK, so right here, you know, the disciples, you know, you know, came unto you have a shot privately, you know, and, uh, you know, and that proves that. That alone, that you know, there's this, uh, you know, the parables, you know, the uh, the uh, the dark saying in the scriptures, you know, the secrets are only meant for you know who the Lord is truly dealing with, you know. Now, of course, you know, you have Jake waking up to the the fact that the Israelites, but it's deeper than that, you know. You know, the truth is, you know, it, it goes a little more deeper than that, you know. And it says, you know, and ultimately the the uh, elect are going to you know fully understand this truth. You know, fully, you know, grasp, you know, the, the aspect of Yahweh Shai, you know, when it comes to his grace, you know, his, you know, his, uh, his sayings, you know, and, 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 you know, things of that, of that nature, right? And it says, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world, right? You know, the end of this present world that we live in, there, right? The end of, of, of an age. Okay, the end of a in of a uh, an Edomite era, all right. And the actual was shy, you know, you know when is that gonna, you know when it, you know when is gonna be the signs of of you returning, right? Verse four and it says, and how was shy answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name saying I, I am anointed, and shall deceive many. And you know, and fast forward today, you have a lot of men, you know, that are claiming to be. You know, uh, uh, the anointed and, you know, and, and, but they're false prophets, you know, many, you know, uh, pastors that are, you know, Christians in the world, you know, and also too many, you know, uh, wicked shepherds, you know, in the community of Israel. Okay. They're false prophets and, and they're leading, you know, Jake down to a path of destruction. Okay. And it says, and ye shall hear, and that's why you have to, you know, watch out for guys like that. Watch out for guys that call on Christ. You know, that's a complete red flag. Well, you know, watch out for guys that say you have to, you know, in order to come back to the Lord, you have to, you know, follow the laws, you know, which we don't make void the law. But what about Yahweh Shai? You know, Yahweh Shai, you know, we, we have to introduce Jake to Yahweh Shai first and then everything will fall in place. You see, that's why Jake ha has to be healed spiritually. OK. And, and how and how is, you know, Jake healed spiritually by the words of Yahweh Shema Shai, you see. By the name, and it says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, and we're seeing that right now, okay, <clears throat> and we're seeing that right now between the these various nations, you know, mainly, you know, the uh, topic at hand, you know, uh, Iran, you know, um, uh, 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 Amalek, all right, uh, who was Russia, you know, um, who was uh, Babylon, you know, so on and so forth, you know, they're. There's always articles and always something, you know, every day popping up that is, you know, related to World War Three. Okay. 
And it says, see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Right. The end is not yet. You see the the, um, the end of this empire is not yet because we have to see these prophecies come to pass. OK, before the kingdom comes, you know, things is going to be bitter. OK, the persecution, the tribulation, you know, the uh, you know us being demonized. OK, so before, you know, we get to the sweet, you know, we must go through the bitter. So that's why you have a shy self for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. OK, and it says for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences. Right. OK, pestilences, you know, famines. Right. And you have uh, the uh, the uh, the one that popped up again, the uh, the uh, the uh, impox. OK, you know, and uh, um, you had who last night declare a state of emergency, you know, you know, regarding that. OK, so. You know, there's going to be more of these things. OK, so we're just, you know, playing the waiting game and waiting on how shy, you know, to return. But right here are the are the indicators, you know, before his, you know, return, you know, upon his, you know, uh, second, you know, coming. And it says and earthquakes. OK, and diverse places, meaning meaning what in many places. OK, and it says all these are the beginning of sorrows. So all these things that Yahweh Shai told the disciples at the time before they before they be, became apostles, these are the things that Yahweh Shai told his men to look out for for a second coming, and these things apply today because the you know the prophets, the servants of the Lord, are back here today, you know you know on the uttermost on the uttermost part of the earth, you know prophesying, you know serving Yahweh by Shmuel Shai in the land of their captivity, or should I say captivities? Because even though you have, you know, brothers mainly here in Babylon, but you have brothers, you know, scattered across the four ones of the earth, you know, wherever they may be scattered, preaching the word and calling upon, you know, the name of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Okay. So it's clear as day that we are in the end of this, you know, this kingdom. Okay. Because, you know, first off, you know, the, the mirth is gone. You know, everything here is getting old and played out and, and oversaturated. You know, the election run is a, is a damn parody skit. Okay. So we are just waiting for things to, you know, pop off, man. OK. And there's been, you know, um, talks, you know, of uh, civil war, you know, which, you know, deemed by the elder pastor hard, you know, the, the hopeful year of Jake was trouble 2024, you know. And they were saying that uh, if Trump was not reelected, re that there can possibly be possibly possibly be, you know, a you know civil unrest, which in the scriptures. Let's snag that real quick. Okay, we need to head to the book of Second Edris, chapter 15. Okay, I'll get right to the point. It says, uh, verse 16, For there shall be sedition among men. The word sedition means in, in, uh, in an overthrowing of a government or civil unrest. Okay, or another word, civil war. Okay, and it says, For there shall be sedition among men. And, and let's to, to further prove what I just said, just for edification's sake. We go to the uh, online etymology for sedition. It means a rebellion, an uprising, a revolt. It says um, attempt to overthrow civil authority. OK, a violent strife between factions or a, re a, a riot rebelliousness against authority. So you so you get the point civil disorder. OK, and right here it says a separation. So what's that? That's the vision. OK. And speaking of division, I came across an article yesterday, you know, and uh, it was from newsbreak.com. And you have, you know, 12 states that are, um, you know, in the talks of separating from the U.S., you know, and they call that what? Secession. OK, so in, uh, in, in the 12 states were uh, I don't remember off, off the back of my hand, but I know I remember some of them, which was uh, Idaho, um, Texas. Uh, Washington, uh, 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 what was it? Uh, Washington, um, New York, you know, so on and so forth. So the, so, you know, division is definitely in the air. So we're just waiting on things to happen, you know, and we're, and we're waiting on prophecy to, you know, fully manifest. Okay. Because all these people out here, you know, they're on edge, you know, and, and one, you know, one, one move can bring these people to the brink of insanity. 
Okay. So it says, for there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, right? You know, the law enforcement, okay? They, they're not going to regard, you know, the, the, the civil authority. They're not going to regard, you know, the mayors and, you know, the, the local politicians, you know, the, the state governors, okay? Because, because this is prophecy, man, okay? And people, you know, being that, you know, we... Being that we know about the prophecies, these these people don't. Okay, we're living in the Lord's movie, and the prophecy, the, the, the scriptures is you know is the script. So what we read, you know, in in the scriptures, which is prophecy, is soon gonna come to pass. Okay, so with people out here that you see, you know, that you may brush shoulders by, that you may see in TV, things of that nature. You know, your, your local, you know, your your local civilians. Soon, people that's an average Joe. They're going to be taking matters into their own hands, okay? And not regarding, you know, the authority, you know, the powers that be, okay? Civil war, man. And it says, they should not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power, right? They're, they're going to become the new authority, you know? And when I read the scripture, I think about the movie, uh, The Batman, The Dark Knight Rises, when you have Bane take over Gotham City, you know, him and his henchmen, and, uh... They, they had, I forgot what it's called, but uh, they had uh, uh, the people, you know, be the authority. You had the guy who played Scarecrow, I believe. He was the judge and he would, you know, he would give, you know, judgment on people that was basically, um, you know, uh, not with their program. And he would say, he, he would say uh, uh, either uh, exile by, by death or something else, you know. So that's a quick example on how these people are going to have, you know, the power in their hands. You know, in another good movie you can watch with that example is um a movie with Forrest Whitaker and it was titled uh, How It Ends. And, you know, uh, we, we, you know, watched the movie, you know, deeper into the movie, to, you know, in the middle of the movie, you had, you know, because uh, I believe it was like a, something with uh, like a, a, a power outage or something like that in the movie. And it caused people to go, you know, berserk, you know, and, and they just they, they lost their minds. So uh, in the movie, it showed how people were, you know, guarding, you know, um, you know, their land and things like that. And, you know, being the new sheriff in town and being the, you know, the new deputies and police officers. But yet they weren't regular, you know, they, they're regular people. But but they took on that authority, you know, to um, to have that power in the court, in, you know, in their hands. So that just goes to show how, you know, even movies, you know, which is Hollywood, you know, um, which is also a predictive programming. Ultimately, they show these things. So, so, so these people know, okay. You know these uh, these insiders within Hollywood, and you know the you know the elites. They know, okay. So this so it's only a matter of time until a prophecy, you know, um, you know manifests. You know, and like I said, you know we're living in, the, in you know in the Most High's movie. So we're just waiting on certain parts of the movie to uh, to play out. You know, that's why the Lord gave us the prophecies, man. That's why the Lord gave us, you know, has been, you know, a lot of us to wake us to, uh, to know these prophecies, man, to wake us up, to, to know what's about to happen upon the earth. OK, because, you know, judgment is coming, man. You know, great harsh judgment is coming upon the people. OK. And that's why the Lord, you know, he, he's uh, given us, you know, uh, this mercy, this uh, grace period to get right, you know, to repent before a thing, before our hell breaks loose. Okay, because we go to the book of Second Timothy, three and verse one, it says, no, uh, "This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come." You see, so savage-like times are are upon us, or are, 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 are not upon us, but upon the wicked. You know, are are upon you know people that uh, you know that uh, you know that just you know want to live their life out here in the, in the flesh and not consider, you know, you how about Shemal Shai? You see, so things are going to get way worse out here. You see, Jacob's trouble, you know, it says this note also that in the last days, right? We're living in the last days. OK. It says in the last days, perilous times shall come. So that's a guarantee. OK, you know, dangerous times, savage like people, you know, people are going to, you know, uh, you know, get worse. You know, and people are already they're already on edge, man. So. You know, so they don't have a lot, you know, a lot left. Okay, people are losing their minds because of the economy, 
because you know the, you know they're struggling you know you know paying bills you know people are especially the women you know you know they're uh, they're definitely gonna lose it okay so so a lot of things you know are gonna happen in these last days that's gonna send people over the edge okay <clears throat> this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7 since I mentioned it all right I'll start at verse 6. Jeremiah 30 and verse 6, and it says, Ask ye now and see whether a man do travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hand on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Right. It's going to be a. And, that's, and, and this verse alone proves that Jacob's trouble is not going to be something light, something pretty. Because you're going to, you know, there's going to be men out here that, that are going to be. Like women, you know, being scared, you know, you know, uh, as if they're, you know, uh, in travail, as if they're having a baby, you know, that's how bad it's going to be. OK, seeing, you know, seeing men cry like women and, and seeing them being scared, you're going to have the toughest, biggest, you know, dude, you know, out here, you know, shit in her pants, man. OK, but, you know, because the judgment of the Lord, you have about small size is going to be so harsh, you know, that, you know, they're, they, you know, they're not you know, going to know what to do. OK, but that's why if, if you're of the elect, you know, and you're, you know, ultimately, if you're, you know, of the hopeful elect, you know, the, the Lord is going to protect us. The Lord, the, the Lord is going to protect you, you know, you and your house. Right. And it says verse seven, alas, for that day is great. In which that word great, we, we can go into it a little bit further. It means intense or, you know, as the most high himself, you know, so this day is going to be a, a, you know, a. You know, uh, um, definitely, uh, you know, judgment from, you know, the most high, man. You know, you know, as you know, as if the most high is here on earth, you know. And it says so that none is like it, you know, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. And who is Jacob? The 12 tribes of Israel, which today they're being called so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, you know, and also two of the Israelites that may look like other, you know, heathen nations. But the bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The spirit bears witness with this truth. You see? So Jacob's trouble is coming upon us, man. Up, well, upon Jacob, you know? And uh, like Apostle Har always says, Jacob's trouble is eating my trouble. You see? So not only is Jake going to, you know, be getting judged out here, but Esau, you know? And it says, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So here it is, it's, 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 you know, right here is it's the time of Jacob's trouble coming soon. But he it says, but he shall be saved out of it. And so who is that? Let's talk about the Lord's elect, because the elect, you know, they're going to be the ones that are going to be covered and protected, you know, during the uh, this, you know, during during the uh, the evil days. OK. And to prove that real quick, let's get this. Um, let's see if I can find it in this book. I know it's the book of Psalms. Let's see. Okay, in the evil day. Let's see here. Yep, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 19. It says, they should not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied, right, man? So the Lord, you know, the Lord's going to protect, you know, his men, you know, in the evil day. Which is Jacob's trouble, and actually, let me snag this in the uh, the uh, the NLT, okay, just to see how it's worded. Uh, Psalm thirty-seven and verse nineteen. It says, uh, "They will not be disgraced in hard times, even in famine. They would have more than enough." Right, man. So the elect. You know, they're going to be, you know, they're going to be covered and protected by the Lord. All right. They're not going to be touched. You know, they're not going to be harmed. OK, they're going to be good, man. They're going to be well off. OK. Now we go into that word ashamed of the Psalm 37 and verse 19 in the KJV. The word there is uh, Bush is Bush. All right. And. The word bush right here, it means uh, to be disappointed, okay, to feel shame, to be ashamed, to delay, okay, 
it says uh, confusion, you know. So the Lord is not going to have his men out here, you know. Um, he's not going to leave them, you know, in the dark. He's not going to leave them, you know, you know, by, you know, by themselves. Okay, because to prove that, let's snag uh, the book of Sirach. All right. And this further proves that the Lord is not going to, you know, uh, you know, leave his men ashamed or, 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 or uh, you know, leave them out to dry. OK, this is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha, chapter two and verse 10. And it says, look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? For whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And the answer to that is nobody, you see? Because in this thing, man, you have to have faith in the Lord, you know? The Lord's not going to shoot you off because you called upon him multiple times and you, and you believe in him and with sincerity and truth without wavering. He's not going to ignore you, okay? He's our God, okay? He's our God, man. We have a God. And that's one thing that, you know, that, that Jake don't realize, you know, that Jake don't that Jake take lightly that we actually have a God that we can, that we call, that we can call our God. We, we're his chosen people. So why would he, so why would he answer our prayers? You see, you got to have that faith, man. All right. So we have to, you know, you know, uh, have faith anyhow about Shemal Shai that he's going to, you know, protect us and, and deliver us in those evil times. Okay. We have to have more faith than ever, man, because of the times that we're coming into, it's going to be very, very trying. And we have to, you know, uh, have that hardcore faith, that rock solid faith in, in, uh, in Yahweh Shemal Shai, you know, and always, you know, you know, um, you know, stay the course, man. And always, you know, apply the scriptures and apply the sayings of Yahweh Shai, because what the Yahweh Shai say, he said that if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you shall move mountains. You know, and the mustard seed is very, very, very tiny. So if you have faith, this just the size of that, that little belief will go a long way. And that's true. OK, so don't, you know, don't uh, ever think that the Lord doesn't hear your prayers, man, because that's, you know, Satan, you know, and demons trying to, you know, mess with your mind to not to, to uh, get you to not to pray. You know, that's all part of the spiritual battle, man, the, you know, the spiritual war that we're in. OK, so we got to always continue to look up because our salvation is driving nigh, man, and continue to call upon the name of the Lord. OK, no matter the situation we're in. OK, whether good or bad. All right. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter two and verse three. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right, man. You know, and we're, and we're living in that appointed time. You know, things are ramping up, you know, you know, the, the uh, and it says for the vision is just for an appointed time, meaning what the prophecies. OK, because soon the prophecies are going to, you know, start jumping off the pages. They're going to start, you know, jumping off, you know, uh, um, out the scriptures and and, you know, and into reality, which ultimately prophecy is reality. You see, but soon, you know, we're going to start seeing these things. You know, the uh, you, because the MOTB still has to come here to be mandatory. It still, still has to, you know, uh, be fulfilled. You know, that prophecy, which is major. OK, you know, World War Three. OK, Jake was trouble. You know, the return of Yahweh Shai, you know, and, uh, you know, the destruction of Babylon and ultimately the deliverance of the elect, you know. So, so there's a few more prophecies that we are looking for, you know, before we're, you know, in the kingdom. OK. And it says, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Meaning what? They're gonna, it's going to come to pass because the prophecies that we read is is the words of the Lord that has been written down by men moved through the Holy Spirit. So we got to realize that whatever the Lord says goes, you see, the Lord's word is not going to return unto him void. So, you know, whether people want to believe it or not, hey, prophecy is going to happen regardless. OK, it's not a matter of if, but when, but, uh, but when. And it says, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. You see? So with that being said, I just want to say, call Lam La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. 
though Bolana be unto the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And I shall have to you, uh, you since from Akim out there, let's push things truth through spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. And Lord's will, the Lord's sheep was fed and edified. That being said, Shalom.